Capricorn placements. Let's see what we have for you, Capricorn. Capricorn. Wow. The Four of Wands and the Ten of Cups. Look at that. Um, you could be um, recently gotten with someone that is making you feel very happy. You could be married or you could you could have gotten engaged. I see a lot of happiness. I, I see a, like a celebration. Um, maybe a bit of drinking, a bit of, well, I see a bit, but I see a lot of cake. I see a lot of dancing. Just good times. Good times. I can smell cinnamon. I don't know what that means. Take it as it resonates. I see that you have great plans for your future. And, and things seem to be uh, working. All the effort and the amount of time that you've invested in towards accomplishing that is working. Your time is now. Your time is not later. You are currently receiving the blessings that are the result of the work that you've put in. Night. Stop being naughty. So now you're just looking so good, you know? I see you like dressed up your best. Like I see you look good. You smell good. You look good. Like you're wearing something fancy. Could have um, gold in it, maybe gold necklace or gold stripes in your uh, dress or your outfit, but there's something about gold here. Um, but you look good, you, you really radiate that energy. Seriously, stop it. I'm seeing flowers as well, like a lot of flowers you could that's why, like, the energy of celebrating something or is is coming up because I see a lot of flowers surrounding you, or maybe at, in your home, but I see it in an in an event. You could be getting married, for all I know. This could be a Capricorn that's about to get married, and they're they're coming to me to say hi or to show off, maybe. <laughs> Because I see also uh, paperwork uh, where you have to sign things, where you have to read things, terms and policies, perhaps. But it feels like a, a contract of some kind that you will be signing your name to. And it could be a promotion. I mean, this whole fuss could be you getting a promotion, but I perceived it to be a, a proposal or or marriage or engagement but a Capricorn is married to their work so I wouldn't be surprised if um, if this was a promotion after all what I don't understand is why is the three of swords at the bottom of the deck let me see Okay, <clears throat> so I see there is gossip about you, and it's not good gossip. Let me see. Okay, you have a secret hater. 
and this hater is pretending to be uh, like angelic oh you know like they are pretending to be uh, an angel in front of others but really they are two-faced son of a gun There is gossip about you and it's because of this person is stirring shit up. I feel like this person is jealous of where you are and you are way above here and they're trying to, because you are above them, you, uh, they, they are triggered. They are trying to find a way to ruin the fun for you. They're trying to turn people around you against you. And I mean, I understand that they're doing this because they're jealous of you, but, but why? Yeah, all I hear is jealousy, jealousy. It's, it's almost like jealousy plus envy. It's not just jealousy. They're not jealous of you because they want to be you. It's like they think that what you have should be theirs. This is a two-faced son of a gun, like I said. Yeah, look at that. <sighs> okay, so what do you want the Capricorn to do about this? Because, I mean, haters gonna hate, baby. Wow, I did not expect that. You know, you know the saying when, you know the saying, uh, keep your friends close, put your enemies closer. If you know who this person is, by the slightest, if you know there is uh, someone that's jealous of you, keep them close to you. Meaning, um, be kind to them. Break them down with your kindness. And I mean, Capricorn... It's telling you to give them something, to gift them something. When you gift someone something, it's never free, even if it is free. Now, I mean, it's a bit sneaky to tell you this, but um, Spirit wants you to break this person by being kind to them. So that they secretly feel ashamed of what they're doing behind your back and stop it. So it's it's kind of like employ employ your haters because they will be loyal. Because they will feel the guilt of secretly being your enemy and realizing that you are a good person and you don't deserve this and they become loyal in that sense. Wow, this is like some sneaky checkmate chess energy. <laughs> <laughs> interesting interesting I did not see that coming that's how you keep them at bay so if you know someone that's jealous of you go to them and be really elegant really naive in that sense but you're not naive you know exactly what's happening because I'm telling you and you sense that this person is envious of you, offer them a job if you have that position or give them a gift or tell them how much you love them and appreciate them. And it doesn't matter what they say, that you will always respect them. It's kind of like reverse psychology in a way. They expect you to, to go against them and make them an enemy, but instead of making them an enemy, hire them or keep them under your wing, as they say, because that will reverse what they're doing behind your back, meaning they will become loyal instead of becoming your enemy or becoming your hater. Very interesting. <laughs> Very interesting, I must say. I'm going to continue this reading uh, on my website. The link will be in the description box. I will see you there.